Today I'm going to show you how to get started with the CS First curriculum, which uses scratch coding. So you're going to need to go to csfirst.withgoogle.com. And when you go to that website, you're going to go ahead and sign in using your OMSD Google login credentials. First, you're going to have to put you're a teacher, of course. And then go ahead and log in using your Google account. And then once you're logged in, we do recommend creating your class through Google Classroom. So you're going to want to have your students rostered in a Google Classroom before starting. I'll go ahead and click on the plus button, click on create a class, and then you'll see a list of all your Google Classrooms. For this example, I'll click on test class and I'll click on import to import my students. So by doing that, it automatically sends an invite to your students. So you'll see right here where it says add students. And within your CS First classroom here, you will see that the invites are pending. So now we're gonna take a look at the student side. So on the student side, you're going to go to a same website, csfirst.withgoogle.com. So when the students first go there, they're going to have to sign in just like we did, except they're going to click I'm a student. And you're going to sign in with Google. They'll use their student login credentials for the district for Google. Okay. If they're on a Chromebook, they should be able to click just like I am. And once they're logged in, they'll see the little invite there, which says join class. So they should go ahead and click on that. And you'll see the class show up right there. Now we'll go back to the teacher side. So on the teacher side, I'm going to refresh and you'll see that Land School 1 should now be added to the class. And once I get all my students in, or even if I'm missing a couple, then I can go ahead and assign a unit. The units have videos and uh, activities ready for the students. So I'll go ahead and click on units. From the teacher perspective, I'll go ahead and add a unit. You can go ahead and decide which one would be best for your class. They do have lesson plans and they have a lot of videos available for students. So for this example, we'll go ahead and add the characterization one to the classroom. Now you also can create an assignment within Google Classroom if you'd like, and that's probably easier for your students so they don't always have to go to the CS First website. So I'll click on Create Google Classroom Assignments. And within here, I'll go ahead and click on a little drop down. Oh, I have to refresh it. Okay, there it goes. So I'll click on test class and then I'll go to create assignment. You can see the title is characterization. I can put instructions right there. There's a link to the lesson for your students. You might wanna put a due date. And then you also might wanna put it under a topic such as coding. I'll go ahead and assign that. I can view in my Google Classroom if I like, but I want to take a look at the student side one more time. So on the student side, I'll refresh. And then now on the student side, you'll see that the characterization lesson is there for students to work on. So if they click on that, then you can go ahead and have the students start the lesson. Some of the videos you can show in front of the class, uh, those are provided in the lesson plan on the teacher side but this is what the student interface would look like. So you can see there's one of the videos, you may show that to the whole class, and then they have a project that they can work on as well. So all of the activities are available within this specific lesson. And teachers, I believe you can also contact uh, Google or CS First to get a manual if you'd like, but uh, that's optional because everything is digital as well and it gives directions to the students. So, if you need or have any questions on getting started, please feel free to reach out for assistance.